I saw this tiny little jellyfish. One of the most poisonous jellyfish in the Australian waters. About the size of a peanut, and it's got on each of the corners of the bell, it's got four really, really fine hair like thread tentacles. Now, these are about maybe one foot, one and a half foot long, these tentacles. So you've got this tiny little body with these beautiful flowing tentacles off it. And my brain's processing through, and I'm more mesmerized with how beautiful it looks rather than actually worrying about what it is. But then it's passed across my forearms. The first thought that went through my head is panic, because you're always seeing on the news out there about people dying through box jellyfish stings, but I didn't feel anything. There was no marks, there's no sting. These stingers are quite intelligent, so if it brushes against a piece of seaweed or a rock, it won't set off. They don't just automatically sting everything they touch. So I thought I'd got away with it. And then it drifted off. I carried on getting out of the water. I started speaking to the guy at the back of the boat, and I just said, I need another tank. I'm getting back in the water. I'm going to carry on filming. And he says, OK, well, what I'll do is I'll fill your tank up, take your gear off, have a sit down, have a drink. So I started to unbutton all my gear, started to take it off. It's at that point that I felt this ache of pain started trickling through my forearms. This pain starting off where the tentacles had hit me. It was like it was flowing, almost like there's liquid going through my body. It felt like if you've ever had an IV and you feel that cooler liquid coming down from the drip into your body and flowing through you, it's a bit like that. It was almost like people picking stuff out or sticking needles in me, coming down my arms. Moving all the way through my body, getting more and more intense. The pain can feel it come round, down my arms, across my shoulders, and then it's that instant where it's hit my spine. It's almost like an explosion, like a firework. It's just then spread into the rest of my body. So my brain's processing through what happened. And it's at that moment that I realised how serious the situation was. <laughs> 